Hi everyone! Today we'll be showing you how to compile C programs for your Omega 2 on your computer using a process called cross compilation. While it sounds complicated, cross compiling just means creating an executable for a platform that's different from the platform that's doing the compiling. In our case, we'll be using a Windows laptop to compile a program for the MIPS processor on the Omega 2. Our C program will use the libu gpio library to read and report the value of a gpio pin on one second interval. We'll go over getting the build system up and running on a personal computer, then using it to cross compile our program and moving the program over to the Omega so we can run it. All of the commands are available in the link in the description. We assume you have Docker installed. If not, check out the link below. Okay. We'll start by pulling the Omega 2 source Docker image from Docker Hub. This might take a few minutes. We'll use the docker run command to create our own Docker container based on the image we just pulled. And now we're inside the build system container. Let's run a git pull command to make sure we are 100% up to date with the build system. This is the build system that we use to make firmware for the Omega and all of the software packages. If you're curious about changing the build system, run make menu config. This set of menus allows us to choose which packages we compile and which packages we include in the firmware we're building. For now, our C program just needs libugpio. So let's search for it and make sure it's selected. If you're using our Docker image, the libugpio package will be selected by default. Exit the menu config and let's compile the build system. Run the make command and take a break as this will take some time depending on your computer's specs. On some machines, it can take a few hours. Along with the code, there's a script that will take care of cross-compiling our program. When it's run, we need to specify the path to the build system as well as any libraries the program is using. The script is written to be generic, so you can use it with your own projects. Okay, we've now compiled the program for the Omega's MIPS architecture. Let's get it over to the Omega so we can actually run it. There's many ways to do this, we'll be using the transfer.sh service to upload the file from the Docker container and then download it on the Omega. Use the wget command to download and then make it executable with the chmod command. We're finally ready to run our program. Check it out. We specified that it should keep track of the value of GPIO0. There's nothing connected to GPIO0, so it's showing all zeros. When we connect GPIO0 to 3.3 volts, the program shows once. And there you have it. We've used the dockerized Omega 2 build system to cross compile a C program and then ran it on the Omega. Use this as a starting point for all of your C adventures on the Omega. Happy hacking!